who dare to invoke me? I think it was me. You? Oh, really? Were you cooking and invoking a lord of hell? It's a new recipe, and I'm not a very good cook. I saw it on TV, and it seemed easy. Hmm, I see. Usually someone who invokes my name is some scum of humanity on the verge of death who does a terrible deal with me. Are you interested in this? Are there any other options? Now that you've invoked me, the least I can do is stay here, living with you, and perhaps get a job at Starbucks. How does this soul thing work? You'll wear a lot of leather with hanging chains, a flaming skull, a motorcycle that catches fire, and unimaginable demonic powers that will make you one of the most powerful beings in the world. Nah, not interested. Sorry. Why? Because of the demonic part? I just lost you there, right? No, no, it's just that I'm vegan. I can't use leather, you know. But have you ever heard of fungi leather? It's made from mushrooms. I didn't know this existed. Could you try to choose at least a dark color to match the turbocharged bike of hell? I don't ride motorcycles. It's very bad for the environment. I rollerblade. It's a lot more eco-friendly. It can't be. And what happens if you have to go far? The bus. Always. Worst case, I call for a ride on my phone when I really, really need it. But then I plant a tree to compensate. How are you going to plant a tree while you're gutting people on the street and biting their heads off? Do you at least have any evil weapons? Does pepper spray count? What do you do for life? I work for an NGO. I deliver pamphlets and- Do you have any enemies? A broken family? Someone you want to kill or get revenge on? I don't know, I hate global warming. I hate waste and people who mix recycling with compost. Got it. And so, on the streets of Megalopolisville, the ghost skater walks, the spirit of vengeance avenges of those who want revenge, because in fact, this is a feeling that only corrodes you inside and does not help anyone. You're a bad person. <laughs> Just the last step in becoming truly demonic. Go ahead and annihilate them, dear. Then we can get ice cream to celebrate. And how are you going to defeat the most powerful being in the universe? By using the powers you gave us. Titans, go! The good guy is Satan. Who has promised that we shall never, never die? Fuck you. We How do I look? Like the devil! In the name of Satan! King of hell! <sighs> Mr. Satan is the champion of the people! Not monsters like... like you! Everyone who wants to live a life of wine drinking and steaming hot sex every day for eternity, raise your hands. <coughs> wow, hey, what about the rest of us? Ah, oh, come on. You're like a lifeless... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior? His name is Cunt. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the devil himself. You can't pick up one of these books off the shelf. This is like an ancient book that spells out reality for you. That you're in the computer simulation. You're in the land of the dead right now. Make no mistake about it. Every book you ever picked up, 
Listen, you went to a grammar school, a grammar school to learn your book of the dead. Every word you speak a magic spell. You learned spell casting, motherfucker. You're a fucking witch, a hairy fucking potter. You can't see anything. I'm telling you, after spilling up my blood selflessly to break you from the chains of time and money, get you eternal life, passage into the Garden of Eden. I published that and somehow I was given the eyes to see all this shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody tells you. I'm telling you as a devil himself. It's join me publicly in blood or expire by the book. I'll remind you often. Go ahead and laugh. I am. I see too much, motherfucker. I'm bound and sealed in blood with the universe. Nobody escapes me, not even your filthy gods. It is what it is. Go ahead and laugh, motherfucker. You're blind, deaf, dumb, legally dead. If I don't spell everything out for you so fucking detailed like, there's no fucking way you're going to see this. And once the information sets in, who are you going to fucking tell? You got no backbone. You're not going to run around shaking people up saying you're a fucking retard. You know, look, I'll go around fucking shaking people up. I'm not a little pussy like you. Imagine you showing your co-workers and everybody the reverse speech. Shoving the flatter shit down, you know. Look, there's no way to fuck this shit up. This reverse speech, nobody speaks this shit. You know, and then it reverses to that shit. No, I'm sorry. Nobody says this shit I say, motherfucker. That shit was woven into the universe by a higher force. It's not what you believe, it's fucking impossible. Nobody says this shit that I say. The reversals, you know, it is what it is. David John Oates is a runner-up for a Nobel Laureate for figuring out by reversing speech, it exposes the truth. So, this is, you know, something you gotta come to terms with. I ask him, Messiah. I ask him, Messiah. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. If you say, if you say. Hi, I'm Benevolent of Flesh. You're a little pussy. They have not captured those, the continents that they don't have treaties with i.e. Antarctica. So we're living in a black hole. That sun above your head is actually a black hole, and it's dripping its light, the menstrual blood, into the center of the flatter plane. And through this transaction, the astral jet comes shooting out, the aurora borealis, the infinite potential, the Earth's memory. This is the goddess of the Earth. She's a living, breathing, conscious being. She's what's causing the tides, breathing in and out. It's not the moon. And you know the moon's not causing the tides, otherwise the great lakes would have a bulge as the moon went over. It, uh, but that's not the case. It's that the goddess of this Earth is a living, conscious, breathing being. And she wants us to bathe in her eternal waters at the center of the flatter plane, where every cup is punched to you. There's nowhere to fuck yourself. I don't want your money, your worship, or your advice. You're in the book of death for a reason. You're gonna put up or shut up, motherfucker.